it's still possible to hack Android games Cheat Engine? It's yes and also no. So, hello everybody, it's me, GameJacker from HackerBot.net, and today we're gonna have a look at how to hack Android emulator games using Cheat Engine on PC. Now, this used to be quite easy to do. You simply had to start up Cheat Engine, connect it to physical memory, and start doing your thing. However, these days it's a lot harder as many of you have probably realized which is why you're watching this video. So, first thing that has changed is that you can't actually connect to physical memory anymore in Cheat Engine by default. You need to go into your settings, then you need to go to extra and you need to enable the uh, Cheat Engine kernel options, okay? And then you will be able to actually find the physical memory process in your process list right here. Um, this will not show up by default anymore in Cheat Engine 7 Plus, okay? So, is it still possible to hack Android games on Android emulators using Cheat Engine in 2022 and beyond? It's yes and also no. So, the old way of doing it does not work anymore, okay? If I just scan for my money value here, yes, I will find stuff, but I will not be able to narrow down to the actual value because all the emulators basically, and it's not just Nox and it's not just Bluestacks, all of the emulators have updated to a way of processing values that simply doesn't allow to scan the physical memory anymore. Technically, it can still be done, but it's in some way encoded, okay? It's in some way um, changed in the memory so that you can't find the exact value anymore. So what do you do? Okay, you have two options now, two options. Either you download an old version of your emulator that is over two years old, that might not be compatible with the game that you're trying to cheat in, and also might not work properly anymore in on new systems. Or, second option, and you can already see it, you use Game Guardian. And for me personally, it's easier to simply use Game Guardian than having some old emulator that always asks me to update um, on my computer. Um, but you have both options. You can either, you can Google whatever emulator you have, and look for, for old versions, whatever. Bluestacks, old version, download. You will find old versions of Bluestacks. Try to find one or, or, or Nox or Mimu or whichever emulator you're using. It's all the same. I've tried all of them. I tried doing it the old way with Nox, with, um, with Bluestacks, with Mimu. It doesn't work anymore. And um, <coughs> I'm 99% sure it doesn't work with any emulators in, anymore because the source code that all the emulators are based on, the latest version, it just doesn't allow for exact value scans anymore. It's encoded in some way. If uh, it, Technically, it's definitely still possible to do it, okay? Just, uh, it's not easy anymore. So, the only answer I found is um, uh, using big and small Endian extension, angst extensions. And I do a little bit of programming, I do a little bit of game cheating, I have no idea. It's it's some way of uh, modifying the bytes in your memory in order to make the values exact match again. So, no idea how to do that. If any of you guys know, let me know down in the comments, please. Um, but until then, you have two options. And again, either use an old version of your emulator where it still will work if the game that you're trying to cheat in is compatible with that old version of Android, okay? Or uh, you use Game Guardian, which is what I would do. So a Game Guardian still works perfectly. It's basically cheat engine for Android. So why not? And most of the emulators will simply allow you to root um, the, the emulator at the, at the push of a button. So that's what I recommend you do. Just simply scan for your value. You know how it works. So um, you can download a legit version of Game Guardian at hackerbot.net. Just simply Google HackerBot and go to HackerBot.net, scroll down on the main page and you will find Game Guardian right here. Please don't download Game Guardian from anywhere. 
uh, but HackerBot or GameGuardian.org. Um, the versions that you might find elsewhere might be modified and might have malware or ads in them. Please be careful. Uh, only use websites that you actually trust. So I wish I could give you better news, but that's just the reality of it. The old way does not work anymore. There is definitely still a way to do it. If any of you guys know how to use Endeon extensions to make the uh, the memory scan work somehow, I have no idea. Please let me know. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it from me. Um, download Game Guardian or an old version of your emulator. And yeah, that's it. Uh, please like the video. Um, join the HackerBot army by subscribing to the channel. And I will see you guys next time. Game Jacker out.